All right, guys, we're going to solve rational equations today, equations with fractions in them, and uh, mainly just one type today, so let's get on with it. All right, the way we're going to solve them today is by cross multiplying, which means you can, and I'll tell you this, you can do this method when you only have one fraction on each side, and those are the only terms you have on those sides. That's when this method is the way you can go. So I'm going to cross multiply that way. 3 times 4 is 12x, 3 times 5 is 15. Also going to cross multiply that way, 9x plus 9. And once you do that, you have no more fractions. So it's just a regular simple equation. So move the 9x over, 3x plus 15 equals 9. I'm moving the 15 over. 3x is negative 6. Divide by 3, you get negative 2. And that's really it. Cross, multiply, solve. That's the best, that's the simplest way to solve two rational equations. Sorry, a rational equation, an equation with two fractions in it. But remember, you can only do that if there's one on each side. Let me show you one more. But before I do that, look at the sentence on the top. Always check for extraneous solutions. So before I even start this one, I know for a fact my x for my answer, I cannot get negative 3 or positive 3 because both those numbers make my denominator 0, which you cannot have. So I'm kind of on the lookout for that before I even start. You know, what kind of answers can I get and not get? So I'm going to cross multiply negative 4x plus 12, cross multiply 5x plus 15. And I'm going to go start solving. So I'm going to move the, let's see, I'm going to move the 4x over here. Just kind of keep things positive. 9x. Moving the 15 over there, which makes me get negative 3. If I divide by 9, you get negative 3 ninths. And as you know, that reduces down to negative 1 third. So check that answer. Make sure it's good. As long as it's not one of those two, you're great. So you can circle it and say, that's it. I got it. So tomorrow, all we're doing is working on fraction equations that have one fraction on each side. It's kind of building up for tomorrow when that's not necessarily the case. So um, we'll see you tomorrow.